Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of Start Pro version V8i concrete structure three dimensional analysis and model. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign wind load. So you can all assign wind load in various ways, and I'm going to show you the ways you can assign. And uh, in Start Pro, you can assign wind load automatically from here. I don't recommend to assign load automatically, and recommend you calculate your wind load manually like me i have calculated here the wind load for its level with the height of this its level and then i will assign this to my this model and this is the perfect way of assigning load but in this way you can assign load three ways so first you can assign load on the surface then you can assign load uh, on this floor level b perpendicular to the wall height and then you can also assign the load as a node as this node you can see here the node if you calculate the load along this beam then if you multiply the load with the contributing length from this beam here then you can calculate the node load so first see how you can assign load on each surface so first you have to calculate the load on surface then you can see here i have calculated the load which is in long direction and short direction i have this is as per the uvc code and in my country uvc is my code and if you have any other code then you have to calculate the load on each flow level so i have at 3 meter 6 meter 9 meter 12 meter 15 meter so i have five story building so i have five level load here so if you have any more story then you have any i have more story load here then you can see i have load in two unit one is kN per meter square and another is keep per feet square so i have this type of load which is keep per feet so i can assign this load as surface which is perpendicular to the height so to assign load go to here load you have to go to here uh, definition then click here wind definition then add first add type 1 then add type 2 close then click here in type 1 so why type 1 and type 2 you can see here i have load in two direction two types so in long direction i have less load and short direction i have mass load that's why i have assigned here two load which is for one short direction another one is long direction so you can consider one as short two as long or one as long two as short as you think first i am thinking this is short direction load wind load one select this one then add and you can see here if you click here calculate as per asc7 then you can go here you can see here some parameter but I don't recommend you do this way. This is the automatic way. Just cancel. I am assigning load here. You can see here under intensity. You can see the intensity keep per feet square and height. I have height 10 feet, then 20, 30, 40, then 50. And I have intensity. This is short direction. I can copy this control C from here. Then I can paste control V. You can see the load pasted here then add factor is one add close then select this exposure one then check this assign to view then assign yes done now go to type 2 edit and height 10 20 30 40 50 and go to my excel sheet this is my long directional load paste here then add this is factor one add close select this exposure one assign to view assign yes so done now you have to go to here say wx so if you, if you see here in my building orientation i have this is short direction and this is vertically long direction so x is my short direction so wx will be my wind one then select this one add select here win then select type 1 or 2 this is type 1 then, which is windward face x factor 1 then add close go to wx minus add select from here win load this is select type 1 this is x direction but this is minus 1 this will be the opposite then add close if you want to check you can you can click here you can see the load is acting along this direction and select this is acting in this direction so now go to here wind wz positive add 
and win this is my two and this should be z face this is factor one add close now go to z minus add win load z face this is minus one and you must have to select this is win two then add close now you can see the load acting along this direction and also this direction so uh, reviewing this you can change if you have mistaken to assign the direction properly so this is one way you can assign load so we have already assigned load on four face of this building then we can assign this load you can see here this is load on face building face so if i want to calculate that to this beam so i have to multiply that with this floor height because i have uniform floor height so this beam will take half of this top floor height and this half of bottom floor height so we have half top 5 feet half bottom 5 feet so 10 feet if i multiply this load with 10 feet height then i will get load on beam which is pound per feet or keep per feet so i have multiplied that here with 10 feet height so i have this load here so this is my short direction this is my long direction load. and now see how you can assign load on this floor beam so i am just showing you one select this first floor level beam okay this is and now you don't have to define anything in this wind definition and under this wx you have to click this then add so wx is my along this direction then member load i have this that positive and along gx so what is my load so if you multiply the surface load with the height then you will get that so i have this is in first point three five so i am just show, showing you the first floor level you have to assign that on each floor level and each floor level you have different load you can see here this first floor level point three five keep per feet second point four keep per feet third point four three keep per feet point four seven then point five one keep per feet so go to here this is my point three my three five and this is along direction is gx then add close select this one you have to assign load this way all this beam you have to select here then assign to select beam assign okay you can see the load has been assigned now go to here wx add then member load you have the same load which is minus 0.35 now then you have to select this gx add close select this this all beam then assign to selected beam done then wz i have the load 0.29 select this add member load this is first 0.29 and it is gz add close select this this is my positive assign to selected beam done now go to add wz add i have the same amount of load but this is minus 0.29 along gz add close select this select all these beam so i think you can understand this way you have to assign load so you have here five load so when you assigning on other floor level then you have there five load five load five load five load so this way you can assign load and the other way is you don't assign this load you can assign load here so you can see here this is a node this is the third way you can assign load here third way if you if you consider this is a beam and you have to calculate the load on this point so then you have to multiply this load with half of this beam length and also half of this beam length and if you want to calculate load on this node then you have to multiply this load with this beam length half so this way you can calculate no load on node so if i just delete 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 so if i calculate here which is wx so i have to go to here wx and this is my 12.33 so i have load here 0.35 if i just calculate here 12.33 divided by 2 so i have 2.18 keep load on this node and if i want to calculate here i can also measure the length from here i have 30.2 so if i calculate the load on this node i have this is into 30.25 by 2 so 5.35 so if i want to assign load 
in this node and this node along w x then add nodal load i have this is f x first one is 2.18 2.18 and second one is 5.35 this is 5.35 so when you assigning for z then you have to assign the load here and for the x negative we have to assign this is a negative and for z negative uh, negative value so i have uh, just assigned two value here i am showing you how to assign that so go to here node cards so select this node select this beam then assign to selected node assign yeah. you can see here the load now select this this node assign to assign assign this way you have to assign load here also here and in this opposite direction here 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 and in this direction here 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 and in this direction which is negative here 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 and here so you have to calculate load and this is very uh, much time consuming but this is the will, this will give you the most accurate result so if you can work with patient this way it will though it will take time but it is the best way of assigning wheel load so these are the three way of assigning wheel load you can choose any one thanks for watching my this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video